All right, guys, today we're going to just go over really quickly the two column script. And there's an example there on the screen. It looks different than what we're used to, which is the screenplay format. So the two column script is uh, divided up. You have the video aspects of your video on the left side, and you have the audio aspects of your video on the right side. And so you kind of have to think exactly what's going to be happening on screen at any given time. So let's take a look at what that might look like what needs to go in each place. Now, this is kind of just a reminder. You know, we, we have to learn and, and understand and be able to utilize a number of different script formats. We're very comfortable working in the screenplay format, at least we should be. The two column script though, is for those times, especially in the world of promotional video or corporate video or advertising, that the screenplay maybe just doesn't work as well. And so when we're building a video that that is built on b-roll shots and sound bites and voiceover all of that needs to go into a two column script because that'll help in the production and help you be able to kind of mentally put it all together in the right way so just to read over this being a media professional means understanding and utilizing several different script formats you'll use the screenplay format the most often but the two column or also it's also called the audio video script has uses as well when you do field production, which is what we're doing right now. Okay, so commercials, live TV broadcasts provides a clear way to understand what's happening on the video side and on the audio side. So we have on this particular example, shots of Zach, Zach's doing things. And on the right, we have voiceover about what Zach is saying at those given times. So as we're planning out videos for uh, clients, we're thinking about what we're gonna be showing matched with what we're going to be saying, whether it's a soundbite that's talking about the class or a voiceover that's describing some aspects of the class. Any of those things are fine. So on the left side is video. And with video, you have to include several things. One is you have to remember and incorporate your shot framings. So on the left side, in caps, we have shot framings, medium shot, wide shot, uh, insert shot, those different things that, that we know and understand, we have to put on the left. And every single shot needs to be included. So be detailed. What's happening in the shot? What do you plan to have happen in the shot? Now, how can you do this if you haven't shot it yet? You really just need to start thinking about what you're going to get when you're out in the field preparing this video. So be detailed. Every little entry on the left should be a single shot. You should include dissolves and graphics and titles if you're going to incorporate those in your video. So again, on the left side is all of our video aspects. So as you're thinking about this particular video that you're making, you've gotta be thinking about what's it look like? Do we open with a graphic? Do we dissolve into a shot? Is it a close up? Is it a wide shot? What's happening in that shot? As you're capturing B-roll in the field, this kind of acts as your shot list. Helps you kind of understand what you need to get so that you're prepared. On the right side then we have audio. So anything we need to put there, if it's a voiceover, what's the voiceover say? If it's, um, uh, you know, if it's a, a someone talking head kind of doing, uh, talking about their program or their business, we put it there. And we can even just sort of put some, you know, generic text that says, you know, comments about the effectiveness of the business, or the quality of the business, anything like that as well. Is the music, you know, up and under means like, do we bring the music up and then does it go under? Is there still music going to be playing throughout the whole spot? Um, if there's narration, do you have contents of that narration? And also if you're going to use sound effects and, you know, for a lot of video, you're not going to use sound effects, but if there's, you know, whooshes or bicycle horns or things like that, then you want to incorporate that as well. Finally, you should always use a template. Now Celtics has a template. It's kind of hard to use. And so it's, it's listed under the audio visual, um, script, but there's also one in Word, and I put that in our Canvas course that is uh, there for you guys, and it, it's already got your Word document broken up into columns. And if you've ever spent time trying to create a columned document and work in a columned document in Word, you know it's kind of a headache. So having it already pre-built for you is great. It's got the divisions already there, and, and then it's really, really nice. So um, before you start this project, make sure just use that that way you know and understand exactly what's going on and, and you don't have to get a headache trying to, to navigate Word and make that work. All right, so that is a two column script. Again, remember, video's on the left, audio's on the right. Describe what's going on as well as what we're hearing.